All right, once again, we're here at the 35th annual Gathering Nations Powwow. We just crowned the Miss Indian World. And here I have here with me Mr. Russell Begay. He rounded up the crowd here. He did an awesome job getting people all fired up. Russell Begay, give us a few words of what you give to the, pro the people here at the Gathering Nations Powwow. What I said to the people, what I always say is that we are America, that this country belongs to Indian tribes. It has always, for centuries, this has been our land. For centuries, this will be our land also. Way before the United States of America ever was birthed, we were here first. And way after the United States of America goes away, we will still be here. Every mountain, every river, every lake, every forest belongs to us, to the, to, to the to our tribes, to, to the nations. And so what I said to them is this, is that be proud of who you are, don't look down on yourselves because you have the blood of great warriors flowing through your veins. And we must always remember that because we come from proud tribes, from proud nations, from proud leaders. And so God bless all of our nations. We come together, we unite together, and we have one voice, and that is that we are nations. And I will say to every person in Washington, D.C., don't ever forget that. And don't treat us like any other race because we are nations. And this gathering is the expression of who we are as people, as nations. We celebrate our Indianness, our ceremonies, our prayers, our culture, our language. We are a proud people. And with that, thank you for tuning in and continue to enjoy the great celebration and the expression of who we are as indigenous people of America. Again, God bless you. Thank you. Russell, I got a question to ask you. I really like when you said the, the blood of the warriors run through our veins. You know, that, that really rounded up the crowd here and it rounded me up too so much that I am proud of who I am. Absolutely. You know, and uh, I have a political question. You know, I'm not very political, but I want, I got, I have to ask this, with the Trump in the office now, how do you feel how he's trying to uh, diminish the, uh, the Native American race into one race? How do you feel about his, his political stance? As Indian nations, we have survived every president from George Washington to Abraham Lincoln to Andrew Jackson and to every president since then. And we will survive President Trump to and all the other and any other president will come after him. They may come with different philosophy, they may do, say different things, they may try to take our rights away, they may say you're not sovereign nation, but they can say those things, but it is what is within us, is that what who we are as a nation. We will always be sovereign nations. They can never take that away. They, tr they try already to take our language away. They try to remove us from our uh, traditional homeland. They try to take our water rights away, but we are still here and we will always hang on to those things. So this president can say and do whatever he wants. We will outlive this president. Our people will outlive this president and we will always stand strong and we will always be proud of who we are as nations. Thank you so much, Russell. Man, those are some powerful words. I hope one day that you consider running for president. I really do. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Powers.com, for tuning in. Back at you, Paul.